Sandy, why are you staring at me? Come here. Come here. Come here. I was calling your sister. Not you. You jelly. You little jelly donut. Are you looking for new ways to spice up your toast game? Well, I've compiled a list of my seven favorite creations that I made myself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be sharing them with you today. Before we hop into the video, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Hi, my name is Ashley. And if you like lifestyle videos just like this one, and you want to see more food, then I invite you to hit that like button and subscribe to help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into the good stuff. So all the toasts in this video are going to be made using Dave's Killer Bread. I'm going to do the first two together because I made this for breakfast one morning. It's a little sweet and spicy combo. So first start by frying one egg in a pan on low heat. This part takes the longest so I get the egg started while I prep my ingredients. So I put a quarter of an avocado on one piece of toast and some plain Greek yogurt on the other. Once the egg is done, I put it on the avocado side. Top that with some of Trader Joe's Elote seasoning and a drizzle of Texas Pete's hot sauce, but feel free to use any hot sauce that you like. Then I top that with a little arugula for a fresh component. For the sweet toast, I put some fresh raspberries on the Greek yogurt side. Then I top that with hemp seeds and a drizzle of honey. OMG, look how stunning this is, and it's so delicious. I love taking a bite of each one, a little of the spicy, and then a little of the sweet, and I just go back and forth until it's all gone. For the next toast, I have a spin-off of how I make my protein oats. It uses some of the same ingredients. So I start by spreading some almond butter on the toast, but of course use any kind of nut butter that you want. Then I add some sliced bananas, and this is the secret, but not so secret anymore, I guess, part of the toast. I put blueberry syrup, but you can use any kind of jam-like consistency that you want on top. I top this off with a sprinkle of chia seeds, and voila, a PB&J inspired toast for you. Number four on this list is quite simple, but it's good in a pinch. Atop your avocado toast, slice a tomato. This one got a little messed up in the slicing process, but whatever, it still works. I added some feta cheese crumbles and then topped that off with some balsamic glaze. Another option would be to use mozzarella cheese instead of the feta and maybe some basil on top, like a caprese avocado toast. I think that would be really yummy as well. For toast number five, this is my Mediterranean inspired toast. So start by spreading whatever type of hummus you have on hand. I only had roasted red pepper hummus, so that's what I went for. Slice up some cucumbers. I added a few drops of lemon juice, and then I drizzled that with tahini and some more feta once again. Ain't she cute? I just invented this off the cuff and it came out really good. So next up we have our little bagel and lox spin-off. Obviously it's not a bagel, it's Dave's Killer Bread. But you take one slice, put some cream cheese on it, some sliced cucumber, adding lox, and then I top that with capers and some Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. I gave this one to my brother because I don't eat fish and he said it was really good. He enjoyed it very much. And we've made it all the way to the end of the list, number seven. So I started off by taking a piece of bread. I put some almond butter, but of course use any type of nut butter that you like. Once again, I sliced some apples and topped that with cinnamon. And the best part was drizzling it with maple syrup. I'm definitely gonna recreate this again once the fall comes. I was even thinking maybe coat it with some brown sugar and cinnamon and then bake the apples before putting it on the toast. So I'm definitely going to try that. Edit 
editing Ashley here. I just realized that I forgot to wrap up the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found some of those helpful. If you're going to be trying any of them, let me know down below which ones you found interesting and which ones you want to try. And until next time, bye. Ah, get away from my coffee. Are you looking for new ways to spice up your toast game? Well, I've compiled a list of... Baby, you're the baby boy.